guys, it's Katie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of these platforms and ramps in your tank. So this is the one I made for my hermit crabs actually just yesterday. And But it is made out of popsicle sticks and cardboard. And since this is a tank that needs humidity, I've been spraying it and it's kind of weakened and I don't think that this will be these are very good in hermit crab tank tanks but today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make one and i'm going to do it in my leopard gecko tank and in that tank you don't have to spray it so it will not get soggy okay so to do this project you will need popsicle sticks um mine is for my gecko so i'm definitely going to need more popsicle sticks in this it really doesn't matter the size, really whatever size you have, um, but yeah, I'll probably have to get some more soon, but it really just depends on the size that you of the platform. Okay, and you're of course going to need scissors. These are my kitchen scissors, cause they're a little bit easier. They're more heavy duty. Okay, and then you're gonna need hot glue. I mean, you don't have to use hot glue. You could use like uh, craft glue or like whatever, but like I'm not that patient and I find that hot glue works better. I also have some extra glue sticks. Okay, and then um, uh, <laughs> this is optional. You can use a ruler or a tape measure. I don't know if I am, it really just whatever you want. And last but not least, oops, you're gonna need cardboard. So I'm just using this Stitch Fix box and I'm just gonna like cut it and use that. Okay, I forgot to mention these things, but you'll need a toilet paper roll, or paper towel roll, depends on how tall your ramp is or your platform is. And some construction paper is optional. Hey guys, it is Future Katie. I just wanted to clarify that if you are making a smaller platform, um, like the one I made for my hermit crabs, and it's just about like that big, you probably will not need a support. The paper towel bowl is going to be the support on my gecko one, but the hermit crab tank one is a lot smaller, so it does not need a support. Just want to clarify. So if you're making smaller platform you do not need a paper towel okay so you're gonna start with your box i have my address scribbled out there i uh, start with your box and or your cardboard or whatever and cut the size of the platform you want it to be you might have to go into the tank and test it out to see how big it would be Okay, so I took this piece of cardboard from the side of my block box, and now I'm just going to I'm just going to like take off this tape and stuff. All right, so um, I've taken off the pieces of tape and stuff, so it's just a piece of cardboard, and I have also like cut off like some of the edges because the edges weren't the nicest so i just cleaned that up and now i'm going to test it in the tank okay so i cut some of the cardboard off because i didn't want it to be too big but i'm happy with how, with how it is so um i have my glue gun heating it right now but what you do is you put the popsicle sticks you hot glue them onto here but you want to cut off these ends. It's a lot easier with these bigger scissors, but if you don't, I it's gonna be a lot harder. So I'm just gonna cut these off and I'll be back whenever I'm gluing them. And I forgot to mention that um, the bigger the platform, goes about the more popsicle sticks you're gonna need. But um, the one that I made for my hermit crabs was just like, one popsicle stick across so i'm going to have to get creative of how i'm going to glue these on because if i do it like this there's just like a little bit of space and i don't know how i'm going to do that but we'll see 
Okay, so once your glue is heated up, you can start gluing them. So, like, I haven't, I've only cut up, like, a couple, but you can just cut and glue and, um, until you're done. So, I'm just going to glue on my first popsicle stick, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So, there's no really particular way to glue it on, just make sure that it stays. Oops. I'm just doing a thin little line. Not a thin, yeah, I'm just doing, like, a thin line down the popsicle stick and then you just stick it on and you're gonna do it for the best so i'm gonna do like a wood grain kind of texture for mine but you can really do it however you want so i'm gonna put one more there and then i'm gonna go kind of like this and it will kind of like make kind of a cool look i'm hoping so yeah i'll be back <laughs> it's glitching Okay, so I just finished this. It's like, it's a cool design. I like it. Um, the only problem is there is now a mess all over my floor. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have to clean that up now and then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so I my sister is playing the flute, so it's a flute, so you might hear that in the background. But now we're going to be gluing our platform into the spot you want it. So decide how you want your platform. Mine will be going like this, and we're going to be hot gluing that to the tank. And it is okay because it will peel, hot glue peels off really easily on glass tanks. So, and then glue it into its spot. And you just want to hold this so that it doesn't like fall or anything until the glue dries. So yeah, this is pretty warm. And then you can also fill in the gaps with some of the glue. Okay, so my platform is pretty large. So this little area is like kind of coming down even though it is very sturdy over here. So we're going to make a support that goes from here down to there. Okay, so I took out the substrate there and um, I'm just gonna measure to see how tall this is and see how long I need to cut my paper towel uh paper towel and if you don't have a measuring thing you can just kind of cut and look at it and cut it and stuff so yeah okay so this is where your paper towel bowl comes into play so I need a uh support beam that's seven inches tall so I'm just going to measure measure seven and cut that test it see if it's right and if we can take more i don't know off if we need to okay so i'm gonna test to see if this is good delta this is currently a construction zone i need you to um please leave thank you can you leave please i promise you'll eat after i finish your ramp go away Okay guys, it is 8.41 and I have to take a shower, feed all the animals and stuff. So I'm going to be finishing the the thing tomorrow. Uh, don't worry, Delta can't get up there because there's nothing to get up there yet. So tomorrow I'll be finishing up the support, be doing the support beam and then I'll make the ramp. And we're also going to make some little barriers on the side of the platform to make sure that they don't fall off of it. And yeah, it will be getting finished up tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow.
Bye. Okay, guys. It is the next day. It is currently 1247. That's why the lighting in here isn't very good. But um, we just went to Michael's. And I got some scrapbook paper to wrap the toilet paper roll in. You don't have to do this. You can just use construction paper or whatever. So I got the sparkle one and the slider one. We'll see which one I want to use. And then I also got this little D. It's only like, it's only like 99 cents. So I'm probably just going to hot glue this on the wall of her tank. It's really cute. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it was cute. So we're going to get started. Okay, so I finished gluing this on it. And I forgot to like, I didn't put it at the top all the way. So I just glued this little white strip of paper around it. I don't know if it's going to go down like this or up like this. I don't know. But now, I think that I'm going to fill the holes of the thing with some popsicle sticks. I'm just going to glue it and cut it. You could probably use big ones. I don't know. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I made the pillow. This is going to be the base because it's a little bit bigger. So, sorry. I just glued this and then cut into like a little square. And remember, you do not have to make one of these if you if it's not unsturdy. Mine is unsturdy because it's bigger, but you do not have to make one of these if it's sturdy enough. So now I'm going to glue this in. Okay, so I've cleared this out the best that I can. I'm just going to make sure it fits good. Seriously, it's too big. No, it's okay. Are we gonna go in just like that? So I'm going to actually do this off camera because it might be kind of tricky, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna record this actually so you guys can see. I have an extra glue stick right here, just in case. And I'm just going to put the glue on the bottom. As you can see, I've taken out all the decor in this area. Lots of glue on the bottom. Okay, now I'm just gonna lift it and attach into the spot <laughs> okay so yeah wow that looks really cool anyway so i'm just going to do this and then those going to be eco earth like over this base and stuff so now i'm just gonna take extra glue because I do need that. And then I'm just gonna kind of stick the glue in here. And then put it down, I guess. I think that'll be fine. Oops, there's a glue string and yeah. Okay, so I just finished, I cut this off just a little bit, and it's very, very sturdy. Well, I still have to make a ramp to go up to it, but yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the ramp to go up. So you're gonna take out your hot glue, your box again, and you need to see like how long it needs to be for it to meet, meet the ground. And you might need your animal to see how big or how wide it needs to be. Okay. So I'm gonna pick my ramp this big and you're gonna do the same technique as you did for the platform for this ramp. So I'm just going to glue it like this and then at the end, you just go along the sides and cut the ends off. So I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, once you've finished your ramp, my ramp is pretty big so Took a while, hurt my hand a lot, but we're gonna glue it in now. Okay, so my gecko is in that cave, so I gotta be careful, but I'm not gonna film this because it gets pretty tedious, so um, just decide which spot, what part you want to be the end, but in the beginning, so I think this is going to go just like that. 
So you're gonna put some glue here in the front. Oh, right there. And on the side, because this is going to be glued to the side of the tank. So, yeah, I will be back when I have this done. Okay, guys, so now that I have the ramp glued on, and don't worry, Delta is in that little spot, so she is safe. But we're going to do the last little step, which is glue on railings here and on the ramp so that they you know it's not fall off so take the popsicle sticks and cut off the ends again and we're just going to hot glue like this and you can make cut like that and then we'll do some down so i'm just gonna do one for you guys and then do the rest and it, it will be done so i'm gonna do this you know Okay, so I'm just going to put on some glue where that's going. I think you can see this. Okay, just a little bit. You don't need too much. And just stick on the wheel. And that is pretty much it. Whenever you do the one next to it, put a little bit of glue on this edge here. And then that will make it even sturdier because it is attached to the second one. I'll be back whenever this is done. Okay guys, so it is all done. Now I'm just going to make sure that Delta can get up on it easily. I'm not sure if you saw, but I added this thing because there was a gap there. And if she cannot get up easily, or if your animal can't, you can, of course, cut these to size, but you can add some popsicles down here that they can kind of use as steps. So let's see if Galka, Delta, one more thing, Delta can use it. Oops. Let's see what she thinks. Come on, you can do it. One second. Oh. Come on, you can do it. You want any help? Oops, oh, you can do it. Keep going. And before you put your animal in it, make sure that it is sturdy enough for them and that there is no extra glue. Oh, please don't go over that thing. She's so cute. Okay, guys. So, the last clip you saw was like 30 minutes ago because it took me forever to figure out this tank. But, I'll show you it. So, this is a little loft area. Has a D for Delta. And then I just put this little plant. And then this is her ramp. She still tries to go down here. So, I really hope she doesn't do that while I'm not there. There is her, her favorite cave on her warm side. She's currently kicking. And then this is her water bowl. So, yeah. This is her calcium dish. And then we have her humid hide, her cold hive, and this rock. So, yeah, that is her cave. Thank you guys so much for watching. Not her cave, her tank. That is her tank. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!